Well, spring has finally sprung here in northern Connecticut. And for some reason, my GoPro screen finally decided it wanted to start working today. I guess something knocked some sense into it. So happy Wednesday when we're halfway through. Spring break is next week, so we'll expect some really good videos next week coming out. Talking about gardening pretty much for the rest of April. There's going to be a lot of gardening videos, so be sure to click the like and subscribe. And if you want proof spring has sprung, you take a look at this. All it's really going to take is just one snowstorm, and those are all going to be gone. So for starters, most people are going to buy tomatoes either as seeds or as trims. If you don't know what trimmings are, basically, like, you'll you'll either, like, not really trimmings, but, like, you go to, like, somebody that's, like, farm or, like, homestead or whatever, and you go out to, like, their farm stand and, and, like, you go pick up some, like, already planted tomato plants. That's what happens, really. I only recommend this if you have desperate lengths or you're ridiculously, like, or you don't really have a lot of like knowledge about tomatoes so go down to there if you don't really want to have to go through that or maybe you already tried growing tomatoes this year neither they failed or your um or your puppy decided to knock it all down fortunately that has not yet happened but my cat did last year and yeah that was a pretty big pain unfortunately so if i were to recommend one thing if you're going to go plant them there's two ways you can plant them obviously you can plant them inside or outside and if you're in like below like if you're in an area that actually like gets below freezing after like March 15th then yeah really that's where I'd be recommending you to go grow them indoor start the seasons how you get the most prolific harvest I'm gonna tell you right now tomatoes take around a hundred days which is about a few months three months a little bit over three months so yeah a little bit over three months to begin actually getting a real harvest so it'll be like late June if you plant them early enough <clears throat> But if you wait on it too long, it'll be like September because if you like plant it in like June or late May, it will take like two or three months for them to get a harvest. So always remember that. So I'd recommend you start them inside or if you have the right area, which unfortunately since I'm <clears throat> earlier in this video, I said Northern Connecticut, that's not the right area. We get snow in here as late as May. A couple years ago, we got two inches of snow in like the middle of May. I'm not joking. And when it happens, <clears throat> you can't just have your garden out there. So what are you going to do? I start them inside. Let me show you how to do that. So you're, there's a lot of different varieties of tomato plants, many of them for different reasons. Many of them get a different outcome. Like the Roma tomatoes are my personal favorite. Those are the ones that are used to make tomato sauce that you can put in like your pasta or your pizza, or whatever you're making, you know, your favorite food that requires mozzarella sauce, not mozzarella sauce, like tomato sauce. There's a big difference between that though in marinara sauce. And then there's like beefsteak tomatoes and 4th of July tomatoes, which fun fact, I'm pretty sure 4th of July is just referring to when they like actually begin developing like green tomatoes. It will really be like July 24th when you actually get a real tomato out of that harvest. So start with one, started by planting them inside. And what we use, if you haven't quite seen our garden tours before, you'll probably notice that we do, um, that we use like, they we use like these cube door, these cube dirt mounds in there, so that way, like, so it starts in there, and then progressively we move them to pots, and then we move them outside after a while, probably in like I'd say, probably around like May 10th or May 15th, as long as it's not going to frost anytime soon. We'll set up a little greenhouse over here, and we'll put everything in there. We want to give them about one to two inches of water per week, and. Then when they're finally ready to go outside, what I want you to do is I want you to plant them one to two inches apart from each other. Later in this week, maybe early next week, I'll probably be posting a video about how to create an irrigation system. It's really useful. It's really helpful. And because I don't have something to set up with, I can link you an old video back in the summer of 2022 of me actually creating a small yet functional irrigation pipe. And it requires special piping, but I'll say it's really useful, especially when you're growing the stuff, to help maintain water regulations. And you gotta maintain these zones if you're wondering. <clears throat> but enough talking about that. Give them still one to two inches of water a week. The fertilizer that best fits your needs. I can't really say that because it depends on like your location, your growing zone, all that sort of stuff. So you really have to do your own research on this part because I can't cover you for every single thing. Now if you're brave enough or have a long enough growing season, then oh yeah, you can definitely go right ahead, my friend, and plant them in the ground as early as possible. I'm jealous of you, man. We still get snow here in March. We could get a blizzard here in March while you're down there in like Georgia or Florida getting 70s and 80s. 
I'm envious of you, man. Can, can we please get that weather up here in the winter? But other than that, though, if you're, if you're feeling confident enough, what you can do is, what I want you to do is I want you to put them in the, the yard. You want to put, put two per hole, just in case one doesn't pop up. You want to put it around three quarters of an inch into the ground. So you want to, like, you want to take your finger and you want to push it down about three quarters of an inch into the ground. Place two seeds there, cover it up, and then go ten inches to your left or right, whichever way you're moving. And then you repeat. So it's basically a rinse and repeat for each single thing. Then eventually you test out your irrigation system and all that whatnot. Keep in mind, different varieties of tomatoes will get you different varieties of results. If you get like a biological engineered tomato plant, which I'm pretty sure those don't actually exist, but like in the future, if you're watching this in like maybe like 15, 20 years and those do exist, then first of all, good luck, good for you for finding this video like 20 years later. And also, I think it'll still probably take at least 75 days for you to get a harvest out of them. So that's why I'm saying start them inside if you're in a low grown zone. If you're feeling confident and you know it's not going to frost over, well, then watch the weather send you a six inch snowstorm in the middle of April. And finally, now it's time to start talking about getting that prolific harvest and even how to harvest. Fertilizer, water, and stuff like that, that's all necessary. And even on their younger age, it'll still take a toll on how much they are able to do. So plant them as soon as possible. But you gotta also remember, they have a really short window. Like, you'll start seeing those flowers if you, let's just say you plant them around when I do, like mid-March, early March. You plant them, they grow, and you start seeing flowers by the time you move them out to the greenhouse, so like mid, a, late April, early May, you begin seeing those flowers popping up on the tomato plant. It looks really nice. And then by the time you get it out of the garden, there's more and more of those flowers popping up everywhere. And then they turn into actual fruit or vegetables, whichever one you want to call it. And then you, and then after a while, it actually begins forming. But it'll take a while for it to actually fully develop. So like, they could be like June 10th and you begin seeing them, but you, they won't actually begin transferring into the nice ripe orange color until like July 15th. Because it all depends on how long. Those first few tomatoes will take forever. But once the tomato plant has like two or three of those tomatoes out and ready to go, then oh boy, the rest of them are gonna pump out really quickly. The rest of your tomatoes are gonna be are going to be just flying into your basket really quickly and I harvest them. It's really simple. You gotta go into your kitchen, grab your little clippers. If you don't have them, oh well, you can use your hands. It doesn't matter. You won't hurt the plant. And also, then you just cut the little stem off around the tomato. You want to make sure it's a dark orange. You don't want to harvest no light orange one. If it's like really late in the season, you see one that's mostly dark orange, harvest it. Because after a while, they'll begin getting like rotten if you don't like store them away. Also, one last thing before I move, before we cut to the outro of this video. If you haven't already, go get yourself some basil plants too. It helps protect them from tons of different bugs. They're really useful. Basil on top of that is also really great. So just some recommendations. 